Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, uh, I fly a lot. And uh, every now and then when I'm sitting in a plane, I look around. And what's surprising is how few people are reading. People are playing games on their cell phones or their computers or, or they're watching uh, movies or TV shows. Me, I've got a book or a magazine or a newspaper. Now, if they are sh showing something on the plane, a movie or a TV program, I might watch it, but uh, a lot of what winds up on airplanes sucks. So, uh, so I do spend a lot of my time reading. And since I don't have a car anymore, I spend a lot of time on the bus here in L.A. And I'm always bringing <coughs> something to read with me on the bus. But I'm also very aware of what's going on. For one thing, I'm checking out the ladies. And for another thing, when the bus stops and people get on and off, I look at who's getting on and see who might be uh, who might look like they might be trouble but then I go back to my reading when I'm at home I spend a lot of time watching the news but I also have something to read handy just about all the time and this is how I come up with ideas for jokes, for YouTube videos, or any other writing that I do. It's by absorbing information. I learn as much as I can about stuff that's going on. I spend a lot of time Googling stuff that I read or hear about. All of this information generates ideas. So something I hear about on the news or read about or even over here in a conversation uh, can lead to a, a joke or a YouTube video or a bumper sticker at my Zazzle store or a post on my blog. I never sit down to write with no ideas in my head and try to generate something. Ideas spring from information. Now those of you who are creators, whether you're a writer or some other kind of artist, if you ever find yourself blocked, if you find you can't think of anything to write about, or paint, or draw, or whatever else you do to create, if that happens to you, the best way to break that block is by learning something new. Thanks for listening.